presentation is being recorded. So, welcome everyone to this virtual community meeting regarding the upcoming Vaughan Boulevard Street Improvements Project. My name is Justina Simon, and I am a project manager with the City of Fort Worth's Transportation and Public Works Department. Also present on this call are staff from the Water Department and the Design Consultant to assist in answering questions. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with some information about the project scope and proposed improvements, as well as seek community input throughout the development. So what we will cover at first is the project overview, and then the summary of improvements, followed by the project schedule. And at the end, we'll open it up for questions and community input. First, we'll talk about the overall scope of improvements associated with this project. So this project is funded from two sources. The first is the 2022 bond, which was voted on by the residents of Fort Worth. And the second source of funding is the water department. So this slide outlines where the funding for each street is coming from. So the bond funded streets are one, Vaughn Boulevard from Wichita to Hardeman Street, two, Bishop from Martin Luther King Freeway to Reed Street, three, Bright Street from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn, four, Sydney Street from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn, five, Rufus Street from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn, and six, Baylor Street from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn. And the water department funded streets are the northern portion of Vaughn from Emerson to Wichita, eight, Emerson from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn, nine, Comanche Street from Wichita to Vaughn, 10 Erath Street from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn, and 11 Martin Luther King Freeway from Reed to Emerson. And I'll be going to each of these into detail so you don't have to memorize all the limits and stuff. So on the next few slides, I'll discuss the existing conditions present on these streets and go into more detail about the scope of each one. So on this slide, you can see various locations of the project with deteriorated asphalt pavement and missing curb. So this is what the streets look like today. And this is what we'll be doing to improve them. So first we have Vaughn Street. Um, so the limits of that you can see in blue on this map from Wichita to Hardeman Street. So the water and sewer improvements will be upgrading the existing 8 inch and 12 inch water and upgrading the existing 6 inch sewer to 8 inch. Paving improvements will be installing new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width, if the existing driveway is greater than 11 feet, then we will match existing, and that goes for all of the driveways throughout this project, the new driveways, and we'll be installing five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street. Also on Vaughn Boulevard at the intersection of Vaughn and Hardeman Street, um, we'll be adding a raised median island to separate the right turn from Hardeman to Vaughn. As you can see on this map in green, that's the raised median island. We are also adding a pedestrian path to the intersection, and this should increase pedestrian safety. Uh, next, we have Bishop Street, number two on the map from Martin Luther King Freeway to Reed. Uh, we will be upgrading the existing six inch sewer to eight inch. We'll be installing new pavement with concrete curves, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width or match existing, and new five foot sidewalk both sides of the street. Next, we have numbers three and four, Bright Street and Sydney Street from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn. On Bright, we are upgrading the existing six inch water and sewer to eight inch. And on Sydney, we are upgrading the existing 12 inch water. We'll be installing new pavement with concrete curbs and new concrete driveways, 11 foot minimum width. And on Bright, we will be installing new five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street. Next is Rufus and Baylor, numbers five and six, from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn. Um, there are no water and sewer improvements on these streets, but we will be doing paving improvements, installing new pavement with concrete curbs. Um, those were all the bond funded streets. The next few are the water department funded streets. So we have Vaughn Boulevard, that northern section in blue, number seven, from Emer Emerson to Wichita Street. We'll be upgrading the existing eight inch water and installing new pavement. Next is Emerson Street and Comanche Street, numbers eight and nine. We'll be upgrading the existing six inch water to eight inch and installing new pavement. 10 Erath Street from Martin Luther King Freeway to Vaughn. We will be upgrading the existing six inch water and sewer to eight inch and installing new pavement. And last one, Martin Luther King Freeway, number 11, 
part of the frontage road from Reed to Emerson. We'll be upgrading the existing six inch water and sewer to eight inch and it's new pavement. I'd also like to note here that there's a future tech stop projects coming to this area, which includes 287 Martin Luther King Freeway and various levels of constructions on the streets that intersect the frontage road. So we're working in coordination with tech stops so that we don't build something that gets torn up right after. So the limits of this project might change slightly as we continue to coordinate with tech stop. Um, once the project is complete, this is what you have to look forward to. So these pictures give you an idea of what your neighborhood streets will look like with new pavement and concrete curb and gutter and new concrete driveways. Additionally, we have pictures of the sidewalk and the ramps. So next we'll go over the project schedule and upcoming milestones. So this slide shows the main milestones coming up for this project. We are currently in design and we're expecting the 90% plans in February 2025. We will then move to the advertising and bidding process to start construction in early 2026 and that will go until late 2027. Um, before construction starts, we'll be having a meeting similar to this one, a pre-construction public meeting to talk more in detail about what to expect around your neighborhood. Um, and similar to this meeting, you'll receive mail or cards with the date prior to the meeting. If you want to stay updated on this project, you can go to this first link on the slide, or you can go to the Fort Worth website, www.fortworthtexas.gov, and enter 104323 in the search bar on your homepage. And this will take you to the official webpage of the project. Um, also, this presentation will be uploaded to the webpage along with the recording. If you want to rewatch it at a later date, or if one of your neighbors missed it, it will be available online to rewatch after. If you want to know more information about the 2022 bond, you can access it by going to the link on this slide. And I'll put both of these links, this one and the one on the previous slide, in the chat at the end of the presentation. If you're not already using the My Fort Worth app, I want to bring your attention to it because it's a quick and easy way to report any issues to the city. It allows you to submit any concerns you have. Um, and once you submit it, it goes to the appropriate city work team and you can view the status of the requests on the app as well. We'll go ahead and open up this meeting for questions or comments. Okay, so at this time, if you would like to unmute yourself to ask a question, you may do so, or alternatively, you can place your question in the chat and we will get to it that way. Um, I do see a question in the chat. Will this slideshow be public? Yes, uh, we will put a copy of this presentation and um, a link to this video. It will eventually be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, it'll be available on the project website as well. There's another question. When will all the street improvements be, be done? Uh, right now we're targeting 2027 uh, for this construction project to be done. Are there any further questions? Um, like I said, feel free to unmute yourself if you would like to ask it, or you can place your question in the chat and we'll get to it that way. All right, if there's no more questions at this time, we'll go ahead and conclude this meeting. Thank you everyone for attending. Um, this is my contact information up on the slide. If you think of any questions after this presentation, please reach out to me by phone or email. Um, again, thank you everyone. Have a nice evening.